Okay, start the Siri, unlock the front door. In a previous video, I connected my garage door opener to HomeKit using a Raspberry Pi Pico W and HomeBridge. So today I will expand a bit on that concept by making it possible to unlock the front door using Siri. So in a way this is simpler since I already have the code for the garage door which I can reuse and actually simplify a bit for this purpose since we don't need sensors for open and closed, etc. Now in another way it's a bit more complicated on the hardware side. For the garage door all mechanical parts were already there, I just needed to trigger a pulse using a relay. Now for the door it will um, definitely be a hardware project rather than a software project. So. Uh, let's start with all the hardware that we'll need. A Pi Pico W, a power converter from 12 to 5 volts since we'll be powering everything from a 12 volt adapter. And we also need a relay to control the 12 volts. All of this will be soldered together on a circuit board and housed in a plastic container. That will go in my utility closet which is conveniently located right next to the front door. It will be powered by a 12 volt adapter that I had laying around and uh, wired to an electronic backplate. Now there are three main types of these backplates. There are the normally open ones which will stay open unless it has 12 volts uh, supplied. Uh, these are no good for our purpose because it would mean that the front door would be unlocked in case of a power outage which we don't want. There's also the ones that are normally closed and will stay open while it has 12 volts supplied. Now those would work with some slight modifications to the code I wrote, but the one I opted for has a mechanical memory. So this means I can control it with a short pulse and it will stay open as long as the door hasn't been opened. Once the door opens, it will again lock. And that makes it simple because I only need to send a short pulse to the lock uh, when unlocking and uh, won't have to care about the uh, state and have a timer uh, to turn off the relay after a certain time. I can just quick pulse off and don't care anymore. Uh, now as you can see as long as I keep this little button pressed it will remain unlocked uh, but as soon as that button is released as it would with a real door it is instantly locked again. Even though this circuit is extremely simple as always, I wired it up on a breadboard first and write the software. Uh, this gives me a working proof of concept and since it's uh, easier to tweak software than resolder things in case I haven't thought everything through properly, I can fiddle and test everything out. Once I'm confident, I will solder everything on a, an experiment board uh, normally I use headers instead of soldering with uh, the microcontroller and other circuits to the board, uh, which I did with the Pi Pico and the relay. Uh, now the power module that I used however is a different story. And I had to solder it to the board for two reasons. Uh, first of all, and it's kind of stupid because the holes in the corners are the right grid size to fit on breadboards and experiment boards, but the distance between the corners does not meet the grid size. So I had to do an ugly thing where I sort of bent these and solder it on. Now the other problem is that the module is too tall to fit in the box that I had with headers, uh, since the headers take up a lot of room. So it would stick out and I wouldn't be able to uh, close the lid. Now that it's soldered, except for the 12 volt power out output, uh, when I put the Pico in place, uh, power out from the converter is connected to pin 39 on the Pico, which is how I power it. Uh, I have ground uh, hooked up to one of the ground pins, and pin 16 goes to the control channel of the relay. The relay also has its uh, power input connected to the power out output of the power module, and minus or ground connected to the shared ground of the Pico and power module. Now the terminals for 12 volt po power are also soldered in and the wires that will run to the backplate is hooked up to the relay and everything is fitted in the box. So here is the backplate we'll be using. It's actually quite uh, simple. It only has two connections for power and ground 
It can run on anything between 12 and 24 volts, and it can either use AC or DC, so polarity doesn't matter. Uh, and as you can see, uh, mine didn't uh, fit the deadbolt properly, so I had to uh, make the deadbolt hole a bit bigger using a Dremel and a cutting disc. So, time to bring out the power tools, and uh, this is perhaps the scariest part since I'll actually uh, cut in, have to cut into the, the existing door. And if I mess up here, I will not have a happy wife. So this is the current backplate, and I'm going to replace it with uh, this one, which is of quite a different size. It's a lot bigger. I need to fit it perfectly so that the door will stay closed uh, normally, but also open when I need it to. So uh, it's uh, important that I fit it right. Uh, and as you can see, the new backplate is quite a bit bigger, and I also need to make room for this big bulge uh, it has on the back. But first, of course, I need to properly mark where I need uh, to remove material from the door. So I unscrewed uh, the backplate itself from the mechanics so that I could outline it. And by the way, this backplate is reversible. So depending on if your door is hung to the left or right, it will still work. Uh, you just simply uh, switch the back plate around and uh, mount the mechanics on the other side if you need to. And now everything is in place uh, and as you can see I'm not that good at woodworking but I don't think it will be that noticeable once I repainted the door frame which is needed anyways and I plan on doing well sometimes. Anyway uh, before I hook the lock up to the pie and set everything up together I tested it by just adding 12 volts directly to the lock. Uh, this way I could make sure that everything wor uh, uh, was mechanically working and the door actually opened and, uh, in case I needed to do some adjustments and uh, things like that. As always, the source code and the config file for Homebridge are available on uh, GitHub. Uh, link is in the description. And, uh, well, since the code is quite similar to the code I use for the garage door, I'll not walk through it. So if you want to walk through, uh, I'll have the, uh, an explanation of uh, uh, how the code is written and why. Uh, take a look at the garage door opener video, which is also linked uh, in the description. I'm now standing outside the front door with, uh, without bringing keys, so uh, let's hope this works. Hey, sorry, Siri, unlock the front door.